Good evening and welcome back. If you joined us last time, you would have seen a 2-0 win at home and that's increased our lead in Division 1. We're now three points ahead of Levante. Got a busy December, we've got six fixtures in all and that starts with an away match against Wales Aragoffa. We've actually got another match on the 5th, so only in three days' time. We're going to have to think about squad rotation, especially in this busy December period. Okay, so we have gone in with a number of changes. We made a few changes at the back. The two wing backs have been exchanged out. We've got Kovacevic that's come in. We've got Rice that have come in for Hetich. Most importantly, up top, you can see quite a few changes. We've actually brought in Bashir on the right wing, as he has been a lot recently. Xerxes, unfortunately, is on a bit of a downer. So we're actually going to try Carlos Perez up top, just to see what he's like. Carlson's also on and up. So we're going to try him in the left wing position, mainly to give Arcas a rest and because of the condition of the play in terms of form. So we're going to give this a go and, and see how we get on against Real Zaragoza. So this could be a really tough match away, especially with the changes that we've made. Let's hope it doesn't have an impact on our form. We want to keep pushing up, create a gap between ourselves and second spot now. There's two teams chasing us on 24 points. And in the last match, we did make Carrera a permanent signing. Obviously, there's no additions to the squad. It just means that he's now not on loan. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. And we can focus on January, seeing if we can potentially make some signings. I doubt it. The salary budget is right down now with us making that Herrera signing permanent. We knew that was going to happen. I think it was about 1.4 million. Uh, not million. Uh, yeah, million, sorry. 1.4 million. Um, of the salary budget to sign him permanently which is quite a chunk I think there's only about three or four hundred thousand left that will build up over time as we get some more money in Cher has been such a great player this season And that's a foul right on the edge there. Nice piece of skill. I was hoping not to get fouled and just, you know, cut and then shoot. Oh, it's right on the line. I don't even know if this is possible to get over the wall and down in time. Going to give it a go. Ah. Herrera, that's blocked. The free kick I was edging towards hitting it less powerful than more. Chance here. Oh, what a finish that was. And putting Perez up top has worked straight away. Ball was fired in here. Nice first touch from Bajer. But what a finish. With his right as well. He is left footed. Lovely pass. First time finish. Absolutely lovely. Now, of course, that's just the first stack and it's worked well. It doesn't necessarily mean that Carlos Perez is going to be great in that strike goal for the full game or a potential for the future. Clearly, Xerxes is our main guy up front, but just wondering if that's an option, if we need to rest Xerxes or if he's injured or anything like that. So far, it's working out. Rice. <laughs> as soon as that first touch, it uh, not bobbled up, but lifted it up slightly. Watch here. I thought I'm going for the shot there. Sat up nicely. Just hit it slightly wide. We'll see how Carlson gets on in that left wing position as well. Of course, he's left footed, so we're so used to playing with those inverted wingers, but he can actually put in crosses. So we need to remember that. I mean, you can put in crosses with the inverted wingers anyway with a weaker foot. A 
Nice into Perez. Now Herrera. I knew that was going to get blocked. Rice. Oh, the inside of the post. Oh, you couldn't get any closer than that. Perez hasn't quite got the strength or the jump to get ahead of the uh, defence there. Carson again and again. Oh, good save. There's a bit of a looper, but uh, got all going off. another th throw in is it <laughs> nearly went out for a corner price ah deflected not going to watch that again yeah of course we'll have Fabio Vieira take it Space to work with, and that wasn't the best of passes. Nice ball, though. It's another corner. We keep this pressure on. Oh, just wide. Is that Carlson? It was. Nice effort. It was just maybe a little bit above him. Stretching. Nicely cut out there. That's definitely not who I was intending to play it to. Good tackle from Savert. Ah, poor pass. <laughs> Did the hard work and then just played it straight to there. I play it. Somehow they kept that in, I'm not sure how. Finally get it back. Nice work from Vieira. There's not much support here. Did not expect that to come to me. Still got the shot away, but um, some odd things happen in this game. Now Rice, he's played really well. Vieira. Oh, could have been two. Had to take it quickly and it's a good save in the end. And that'll be half time. Really good half. I feel a little bit bad that we haven't got that second though. And as you can see again, we're approaching that 60% position mark, which we're seeing to in every match. We're always hovering somewhere between that 55 and 65. I don't think we've had one match so far where we've had the lesser of the possession. 12 shots with five on target. Need to start improving that conversion rate though of shots on goal and actual goals themselves. A little bit of a sloppy pass, but we'll keep it. And that was poor. Ooh. They got away with that one. I uh, was close to being a, a chance. Nicely defended there. That's offside anyway. Oh. What?
I'm sorry. I have no idea what's going on. I mean, that was a fantastic free kick, but I have no idea why that was a free kick in the first place. What a strike, though. Oh, you're not stopping that one. Whew. Well, we've got it all to do again. I just, I, I was so confused about why it was a free kick and um, there's nothing I could have done about that going in, but um, yeah, strange one. Nice ball of Vieira. Oh, what a finish that was from Perez again. And again, I think that was with his right. Nice little ball out wide. That's a fantastic ball to Vieira. And the defender almost got it. That probably won't count as a, an assist then. Wonderful finish though. They must be absolutely sick. They've been under the cosh the whole game and they equalise with a wonder strike and then within two minutes they're back behind. I mean, deserve for ourselves though. We, we certainly don't deserve to be drawing. Perez somehow doesn't have the pace, even though he's a very pacey player. Oh, a nice little ball to Bajer. Good tackle. There wasn't really much support. Oh, could be a hat-trick here. Oh, good save. Good, good save. We'll make some changes. And we're just going to make the two changes this time. We're going to bring Fabio Vieira off just to give him a rest. And we're going to bring Casaldin on. And we're going to take Carlos Perez off. Yes, he's on a hat-trick, but we want to rest him. And we're going to bring Mihailovic on. He did well in the last game, and he scored after coming off the bench. Let's hope Mihailov can have a similar impact that he, that he did last time. <laughs> Nelly came to him. Rice. Again, somehow he leaped 20 foot in the air to block it. Maybe it's me slightly exaggerating. Herrera. Ah, that's poor. Overshot it. Just need to be careful. Counter-attacks are always a dangerous thing, even for a team that's not been in the game much. Well, that was a strange clearance. Get it back in the end. Nice ball. Here's Carlson. Haven't seen much of him today. Share. Dean. Oh, good save. And yeah, we'll have Castledean take it. Herrera, will someone block it? Yes, they will. Be a corner. Ah, easily taken by the keeper. Absolutely fired it into the player there. We nearly intercepted it, but they've still got it. Could be again a little bit dangerous. Why can't I tackle them? What? Honestly. 
Yeah, yeah, there's a punch up a pony. Just couldn't. Even though he wasn't. Oh, he's got a booking for that. <sighs> yeah, and they nearly score with the, literally their second attack of the game. Ten minutes left now, so just need to not to make mistakes like that. <sighs> Give them three kicks away. I mean, I'd rather that than um, the run on goal and score. But got a chance to regroup here and maybe fire a ball in. A tackle for my off. It was a bit industrious. Oh, I got absolutely taken out there, but of course I don't get a free kick. This Castle team, what can he do? Bajer's got a bit of space. Oh, and he's in here. Bajer. Hyloff, how did he not score? How did he not score from there? I know it was blocked. As it, you know, is 90% of the time. Good save, but uh, you need to shoot first time rather than taking that touch. Keep the ball. Je oh, nearly again. That was worth his right that time. Mihailov! And he's done it again! A uh, super sub, I think. Really nice finish. A little bit of a toe poke finish there. Again, a good save. It comes back here. And it's Carlson that plays it into him. And for the life of me, I really thought he was going to get tackled there. He just manages to to poke it out through the defender's legs possibly, or just over them. Oh, lovely finish. There is actually a super sub trait, and I think one of my players does have it. I'm actually wondering if it is Mihailov. Let's have a very, very quick look. No, so he doesn't actually have any tr any traits, but Xerxes got it, but that's not the player I was thinking of. There is another player, one of the default players that has, has got it. I might have already saw that, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's just uh, jump back in. Could we get a chance for a fourth? Still might. Not sure what happened there. That should be full time, and it is. Wasn't as comfortable as it should have been, really. That free kick was a magnificent goal from Wales Aragoffa, but we came out on top in the end and deserved. Looking at the stats, 56% possession, 21 shots with 12 on goal. Nearly double the amount of passes as well. Ratings-wise, Carlos Perez was man of the match, without a doubt, with that double. And who knows, if Yellow stayed on, he might have got the hat-trick. Mihailov came on, and again he got a 7, which he got in the last match from being a sub. And again, he found a goal. Didn't expect anything from him in the past couple of matches, but he's gone and done it. Made a difference, just made it a little bit more comfortable. Playing Carlos Perez up top could be an option in the future if we need him. And as you can see in the table, both Levante and Leganes won, so they're still three points behind us. And our goal difference now is the same as Levante. At one point, we were quite far behind them. They had a seven or eight goal difference better than us, I think. But with that 3-0 win that we had against them, that clawed things back. That was a six-goal swing in that one. Hopefully, we'll never have to worry about that, and we'll just be ahead on points until the end of the season. We'll have to wait and see. And the next match is a very short turnaround. As you can see, the last match was on the 2nd and this is on the 5th. So just a 3D turnaround, which is why we did rest a few players. There may be a few tired legs, but some of the regular starters should be coming back fit and fresh. And join us for the next match. We're at home to Tenerife. Let's hope we can keep that winning streak continuing. 
Please like if you did enjoy the video. Hopefully you'll subscribe to the channel if you do want to be a regular. These uh, videos are going to just keep coming out. Really excited to see what the first series has in store for ourselves. No doubt we'll be playing this for a long time to come. Thanks for joining once again today. Cheers.